Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is the last spell, more specifically, the Over the Mist and Far Away update, which features a new map, a complete perk system overhaul, and a bunch of other new things, balance, new features, and otherwise. In we shall go here. We have not played this in a while, but Gildenberg is the new one here added in this update. I feel like just for showcasing here today, Let's go with base difficulty. I feel like it just makes sense to do so uh, for, for kind of exploring around, learning what's up, what's new, everything like that. Character sheets. Here, one moment here. All right. I had just, had, I got a little, uh, I had a couple characters pre-made from uh, from the past there. We got some some wholesome verse members in here to play around with. But alas, so we got this new map. It's a huge different uh, looking map here kind of Minds of Moria vibes up in here. So we got position our heroes. What do, we, what do we have for heroes as far as like weaponry goes? We got Rusty Dagger. We have seen Prior, the short bow, everything like that. Uh, and then we got ourselves the Novice Power Staff, which again, everything maybe was like balanced out. Could be really good. Essentially, if you don't know what this game is, we are going to be defending ourselves from a horde coming from this direction. They are trying to get right here. It is kind of tower defense-y, I guess, in a, in a way, you know, because we're trying to defend, but we have our units. We can build up towers and defenses and everything over the course of time as well. But for right now, we don't have any resources. It's going to all just be about, um, you know, wiping them out via our actual just characters here. Oh, look at that, the little, uh, the little borders based around what color background you go for. For now, let's uh, just let it happen. I mean, what the hell else are we going to do? I guess we maybe move back just a hair just to let them come to us. Make sure, you know, you go there, Rask go there, I'll go there, or we'll go there. End phase, what you got? And back to hell. I don't think we have any uh, kind of upgrades to go for yet. All right, so... Oh, this music is so nice, too. Do we want to spend resources like crazy right now? I'm not so... Oh, my God. This music is wild. I do like it a lot. Okay, so what do we have? Let's get ourselves reacquainted. We have range damage. Do damage to a tile three to eight tiles away. Effects, no dodge. They can't... They cannot dodge. It does 72 to 95. I'm going to turn down the volume just a, just a hair here. It's really good, but it's very constant uh, volume. So, or we could spend a little bit of our mana and do a spicier build there. Point blank shot. We got to be a little bit closer if we want to go for it. Let's start out by using old Rito McGee here. We've got a conal shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six to go over there. Or we could jump over, save one tile. This is risky, man. I'm gonna do it, I don't care. Right into it. Watch me die night one here. Okay, so we have that. We have a couple other moves we could use. Piercing light, AoE. It reduces the accuracy of them. Does 96 to one, uh, 113 damage. Usually it shows the amount of damage it's going to do visually on them there, though. How much you got? Yeah, I mean, you're, you are going to die if we go for that there. We could go for the AoE. I think it might just do damage. One target plus eight for the effect. So everybody in the radius is going to get the downgrade, but only the person in the middle gets the kill. Okay, so yeah, kill question mark, kill for sure. We probably should go for the guaranteed kill, right? Or stunning entrance, jump up into the air, slam down if we kill. I feel like it just makes sense to go for this for now. Get you out of the way. A little bit of a accuracy penalty on that fool. We have three energy, three action points left to spend here. So we got a hell of a lot. We probably don't need to be so, uh, so stingy here, truly. Because we have other characters we can play around as. Let's just go ham. All right, we're stuck here. Uh, I could fortify. Yeah, let's just fortify. All right, what do you got? 
So Reps has a dagger. We can go up and we can backstab. We can use throwing daggers. I remember really, really enjoying. What's the range on that? Pretty good. And yet we can't quite... Can't quite get into range there. How about here? Yeah, not so good. We could kill these. I don't think we can attack anybody off in the uh, in the, the fog here. Nope. Hmm. We could just wait for them to. It's silly. We'll go for orbital. Got that AOE there. Maybe we scooch a little forward. We can always back up if we if we need to if this doesn't seem like it's gonna be a good idea dodge 1.75 f to rotate oh that's new that's that's entirely new there okay big damage we can go ahead and just get like a guaranteed kill there we have three extra shots we could go for kill there no kill there All right, that'll work fine. And then, honestly, I think we do just, like, let Raps get closer. And ready to go, sir. If he can only attack right here, then nobody else should be able to get up to him. Enable turbo mode. I think we just end our turn. I know we have six action points, but I'm not going to go down there and take all of that for nothing. Obviously, I'm going to take a hit here. We put up the armor, though. Hopefully, that was going to be good enough for it to not really be that big of a deal. Because now things are going to get spicy. Scorching Wave is a fun one. We could get a lot of kills if we go for this. Costs a lot of mana, but honestly, we have so much. I'm kind of down to do it. It looks so. It just looks so cool. Jump down stun, maybe. We could do that. Or we could, like... Jump down stun, kill... Kills you, stuns you, stuns you. Do we care about that that much, though? I don't know if I truly do. Attack and poison. Those guys are going to die. You're actually not going to. That's kind of annoying. Hit me with a... Poison, poison, and then I guess a poison to get you out of the way. Yeah, that guy's gonna live. We have seven movement points. We can go in. We could do a quick little dagger and get out. Perforate goes through armor, but there's actually not really a concern there. Alright. Uh, hmm. One action point left. Five movement points. One, two. One, two, three. So we want to move you, and by you, I mean me. So let's get a little bit of another AoE situation going on here. I think that is going to be quite hot. Quite helpful, quite handy. That doesn't kill. This kills. This, this has always been such a phenomenal move. Look at that son of a gun. Close range should be a guaranteed kill on that guy. The closer you are, the more accurate it'll be. Uh... Man. Just bop ya. Or not. Or not ya. Five movement points. I don't think we can get around to hit you. You get back out. We could move down. It's, it's dangerous. One, two. Just get a little bit of damage on him. The lower health they are, the uh, the more difficult it is for them to move closer to our base as well. So that feels... I don't know, it feels right. Can I even hit you? You are hittable. Indeed, indeed. And I don't want to be in any more danger here than we already are going to be. However, I will be here, and I will put armor on myself, and I will do the same with wraps if we can. We cannot. I'll armor up twice, then. Cool. 
You should die via the poison. But I'm just gonna make sure. Ah, they did get what? Oh, they got in range there. It's okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we only get three mana back at the end of this turn. So, like, theoretically, we don't want to be spending so, so much. But, boy, it is very easy to do it when uh, you see this move coming out and just... Oh, what a dream. I wonder, do they feel pain? Okay. I kind of like the idea of doing it like th this. Putting it into a spot where old Rito can jump kill. It's, not, it's stupid. It, it's just, it doesn't really make any sense. It was a fun move visually, but I wanted to make use of it. But it was really not necessary. Stunned and poisoned. Those guys are very much dead and not going to be a problem. I think they might... Do they block bodies from moving closer though since they can't move like what happens first the movement or the poison that I don't remember I don't actually remember on that one if we're really like if we're willing to spend mana then we can go ham though like I could do this all night long I could waste my mana all night long. All right. Here, I would say, definitely feels like it makes sense for Raps to kill. Well, maybe it makes more sense to get the... Yep, guaranteed kill there. Little dinky shot out there. You're all the way over there, and I don't even know if I can ever get a good angle on you. Yeah, I didn't think so. Did not think so. Let's just start firing. Anyways, I'm just starting blasting. So, you can see their movement goes way down when you hit them like that. Get up here. Oh, you're out of you're out of energy. Gotcha. Eight movement. Dodged. You son of a gun. Apps. Come on, man. Okay, I think if we go here, we're fine. And we also protect Orbital that way. You're welcome. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, they could not get to us. They're going to break down a little bit of our barrier, but alas, I don't really care. Here. I don't really care here. All right, this is the this is the last of it. I think we just go ahead and do some rinky think Big dodge chance on that one. I'm going to hop it. Powerful move, it just makes it... It's kind of a tougher one in the sense that they can dodge it pretty well. I never liked the staff. And it's doing a good job of showing why I think it's not that good today. Though we are just starting, I'm excited to see what kind of a trouble we can get into with our perks and everything. Do it. Boom. There we go. We got a little bit of a stun down, too. If we cannot actually get all of them done here. Which is almost seeming like that's going to be the thing. Does Orbital have any more attacks? He does. Okay, I think we can actually get away with this. Because we can pierce through armor with that attack. We have two moves there. Orbital goes... Eh. So you're not going to get to me. You guys definitely can. <laughs> <laughs> you guys definitely can. So I'll tell you what. We'll spend a little bit of mana then. In that case. Now they definitely can't. Easy as that. I just realized we could have hot, uh, shot that one right there. Alas, alas. Uh, it's not worth spending energy on, right? When I can just armor myself up for the fact that I'll probably get hit by that guy. Dodged. Oh my god, it's so sad. Yeah. Oh, we got a crit there. 
And there we go. We made it. Sure as hell did. Did we get a level up? Thank God. Okay, we got an S. HP loss 14. I'd be sure. Beautiful. So the better we do, the more stuff we get. We get the night reward of 100 bucks, 100 materials, and one new item. Kill monsters have obtained death and simple. A hero applied three debuffs in the same et to the same enemy in a single turn one time. Okay. Just ruin their life a bit, I guess. So now they're going to be coming from up on top, but we enter up into the next phase of the game here. But first and foremost, uh, let us go for the character upgrades. Wraps, what we doing here? What do we do? We have anything that we have nothing in the city stash. Maybe we take a night reward first. A magic wand could be good. Stank greaves, dodge and opportunism. I think it does more damage on an enemy that is like stunned or something. And plus twenty five armor. I mean that's pretty good. We would maybe want to compare that with myself if I'm the front guy. Yeah. I mean, it seems good to me. It's rank two and everything, or give the novice one. I'm going to I'm gonna get the pants. The one's good, but like, I'm going to get the pants. I want pants. Boop. All right. Level up. Resistance decreases incoming damage. Or armor of 15, obviously, is good. Good. Critical chance uh, goes up to 13. These are ridiculous. These are ridiculous. If I'm going to be in the front, though, let's go with the resistance. It's a more rare one. Uh, we have a couple rerolls we can use. Daily health regen. Fine. Yeah. You'll, you'll, I'll be the tank. All right. Let's check out the new perk system here. This is I'm really, really excited about Unlocks the sprint skill, allowing you to restore move points in exchange for some health. Okay. You can use it twice per turn. Trade 10 health for three movement points. That seems really good, actually. Like, all things considered. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Plus two mana for each level of the hero. As long as the hero didn't move this turn, accuracy and skill range up. When attacking an isolated unit, you get bonus reliability, so basically less RNG on your roll. When applying poison to a unit who is currently already poisoned, also apply a stun. That's pretty cool. Upgrades the jump over skill, minus one move point cost, plus one range. That's very useful. That, that's been improved. Uh, armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. Unlocks the quick reload skill, allowing you to restore one use to all of the skills of the current weapon. Three uses per night, one use per turn. Uh, targets one. Okay, it has to be used on the self. It has to be used on the self. Hmm. It's really handy, though. Any buff applied to this hero has increased duration. Bonus poison damage. So this is like the whole poison tree here. At the end of the turn, hero's turn, apply 20 poison to all enemies within a range of 3. Oh my god. Whenever an enemy takes poison damage within a range of 5, restore 2 health. When applying poison to a unit, apply contagion. When it dies, it's all of its negative alterations are applied to two random adjacent, adjacent units that are not already contagious. Wow. Stun transfer can fail because of stun resistance. Whoa, wait. Oh my god, the contagion can transfer stun. It's all debuffs. It's not just poison. Holy moly. Any poison applied the by this hero has a decreased duration of one, but does 75% more. Wow. Every three isolated units. These are some these are some truly, truly massive and wild perks to potentially get here. Uh let's go for Coagulation. If I'm if I'm tanking here. I'm tanking here. And you know what? Oh. 
Oh, you're not guaranteed to get all of the same ones. Oh, what the heck? That's very interesting. I really was going to, like, I would have gone for poison there. Okay. Perseverance. Also, wait. And some of the perks are, are, are actually just different. Oh. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. So, the bow and arrow one, for example... When a unit dodges an attack from the hero, your next attack gains extra accuracy. Every three units dodging an attack from the hero, you get an action point back. Huh. I feel like sprint might be a good call. Cheer unlock uh, could be good, too. I'm going to go with sprint. Seems good. Dodge up. I could. That's pretty big, but I'm going to just go with the flat physical damage. We need somebody who does, like, more. Uh, propagation damage is only relevant on skills that have propagate, which is basically they do AoE more or less. Opportunism. Temporary effect hindering. So I believe... Do we have opportunism on our base move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or isolation. Oh, oops. No, that's what I meant. I thought we were looking at, at this here. I'm going to do a hot reroll. Resistance reduction. So we can basically... We can pierce through enemies a little bit more. 10% armor piercing is what that kind of could read as. Uh, what do we got for orbital here as far as the ranged? So you got that one. Plus two mana for each level of the hero. Mana per night? Mana regen or flat mana? It's a big difference. Extra bag equip slot. Potions have a range of 10. You can throw them very far. Uh, I'm going to go with the mana growth there. And we'll see. Okay. Gotcha. Move points? I'm not so worried about move points on you if you're going to be our ranger. Let's go with range damage up. Minus 20% critical power is his downside that he has here. Oh my god, I didn't realize I have I, I am such a bad tank. Oh no. Interesting. Very weird. More health, less dodge. Man, none of our characters are really like suited for what they're doing, but hey. Tis what tis. Let's go for a little bit of... Let's get the critical power to hopefully balance out that critical loss there. No, let's look a little bit of gear, too. Um, I would very much enjoy getting myself a sword to unlock that move set there. How much money do we have? 75 bucks. Oh, my God. There's always so much to do in this, man. What do we got here? Slow trap, stun trap, damage trap. Warp gate, watchtower. Let's put on a couple walls to... Do we need to? Maybe we don't need to. There's actually like a lot of... Um... Okay, that can be built anywhere. This can only be built here. Good to know. Just blockade some stuff like this for a bit. This should block that off. I'm not too worried about it for now. Do we want to put down a trap of sorts? Slows the target, stuns the target, damages the target, and surrounding target, but no friendly fire. Triggered when an enemy ends their turn. Okay. You know what? Let's give it a shot. I never really played around with this that much. Cool deal. All right, we'll leave the other stuff. Workers available. Oh yeah, yeah. Back at it again, baby. Increase your workers by one. What's that cost? It costs gold. Um. Oh, 
couple new structures. Armor Maker. I remember the inn lets us, yeah, get new heroes. That's a great thing to go for. Restore mana. I don't know, man. Doesn't really matter too much for, for today's purposes. Truly, truly. I remember the gold mine being important. We gotta break down some stuff. Go for that. Build new structure. Build ourselves a dang gold mine. Or two. Let's build ourselves two. Alright, so what else do we have for... We could obviously build a couple more things here if we truly, truly want. I don't think I need to be too worried about it. I think I should save up my materials a little bit. Let's scooch you up here. I'm going to probably give myself the sword in my offhand, right? Because I'm going to be up there and I honestly think the staff is... Unless we're using mana, the staff is not very good. If we're using mana, the staff is, is killer. Um, but I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to. Get wraps up there as well. Maybe more like in a flanking kind of position. In a rogue, roguey way. It all doesn't need to be back that far. All right. Let's give it a go. Wow me. Somebody wow me. They're coming. Oh, a little out of position there. You little devil. Okay. You know, I will just like kill you. You're you're here. You're here, why not? Isolation bonus should be huge for that. One, two, three. Poison last two turns. That son of a gun's gonna die before anything really matters there. If Can we move... Okay, we can move forward one tile, but it's like... Should I? It's not like that much I feel like I really should be doing this turn. Parts line of sight, sure does. This does not, however. Yeah, let's just back it up. Let them come. It's funny. It said no friendly fire, so I guess I'm gonna just trust it, right? And we'll stand on it, try and bait them. Come and get me. Come and get me. Toss me. I mean, there's no reason not to just kill these, I guess, if I'm not going to go for anything else. Who has six action? I mean, six action points total, I assume, right? Yeah. Sure. It's fine. Oh, you little devil! I do like going for this. Okay, that's... Th th that, uh, that amounts to kills. For sure. That amounts to kills, too. Where's a mana potion when you need... I'm well aware. I'm spending far too much. That's one thing we should probably work on getting. A lot of mana... Or motion points left... we move here, we'll be fine. This is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Let's go for it, man. Really? I don't think they're going to step on it. I think they're going to go around. Unless I step on here, but then it's like, is it worth it? Sure. Alright, what's she going to do, man? I 
feels like a waste. Don't just stop spending so much mana. Just weaken all these fools. One, two, three. I think we can actually get away with this. Kind of silly looking, but we can do it. That's what I thought. Of course you're going to just completely dodge it. Well, we had our armor. It doesn't even matter. Okay. Um... Hmm. We can dash. Let's just go through. I mean, that should do a, a number on him, right? Like, I should probably... I don't know. I always am like, I, I don't want to spend my mana just because I want to see this cool explosion happen, but... I feel like this is making sense to do. Maybe we can lure them over here. Accordingly, though. All right. This, I really do feel like it makes sense to go for. You know what? We can always spend health to go get some energy back. That feels like a fun way to do things. You are alone. That should be a full kill there. Do I, do I spend health just to, like, try out the new move? That's really good. Like, that's so worth it. What a nice... Like, it, it may seem weird. Like, why, why are you giving away health? And yes, it doesn't make sense for us to do it right now. Like, it's not... It wasn't a good call there. But I'm, I'm happy I did it. Because now I know how good it can be. It's a powerful move. Alright, back it up. I think we're generally... Generally done so here. Step on the bomb! Somebody, nobody's gonna step on the dang bomb. I can't, I just can't get him to do it. I needed to force him into it. Just needed to force them the heck into it. As always, this is just, it's too effective of a move not to do. It, it's always so clean to look at. Die! Okay. All right. All right. Really? I wanted to get in so we could isolate kit. I tell you, man. Isolate kill. Isolate kill. And probably get the hell out. With you kind of covering the exit a bit. Knowing full well these fools are going to move to the side if we don't do something. Okay. All right, what's the plan here? Scooch. Two energy, three movement points. Screw it. They're not going to step on the dang thing. I can't make them do it. We would have needed to not kill them all there. But hey, it's fun to kill. What can I say? I like to do the murder. Let's see. Picking off one like that so we can get ourselves in to do these kills is quite nice. Same kind of concept here. We get you. All right. Then we can solo. Or we can bang, bang, bang. That's what it's all about on that. Uh, is it worth it to do the... How much mana you got? Ay, ay, ay. Um, we have another straightforward kill there. We got two. So we can get the guaranteed kill into a rinky-dink slap. 
that'll make it so they don't do very much to us, which I think is good enough. The more we move, the more damage we will do there. That's just an, an innate ability that we have. Oops. Good. All right. Sounds good to me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. Yeah, we're going to probably take a, a very weak slap that doesn't even break our armor, but do I look like I care about a very weak slap that doesn't even break my armor? Does that seem like a way that I would explain that move in the event that uh, I cared? I would hope not. That wasn't so bad. That was so close. I never noticed how much I noticed how close it was. Okay. I will say that there was recently an update that added new enemies to the game as well. Um, that I believe start to show up a little bit later here. Well, that was easy. Got him coming from that side and that side now. Check my new wares. Did I assign my... I did assign my workers last time. Yeah, that's right. I broke this stuff. Good. It's, I don't know why I'm investing for making it so we get more money when we harvest this. So it's a net loss for this turn, but it's a net gain for later. Uh, we would also, like, also want a dang old house, I think. New upgrade. What do we get? 20 health minus 4% accuracy. Bonus healing received. Bonus health regen. That seems good for my character. Mana move point resistance. That'd be for wraps. That seems good, though. I think we take that. For wraps. Alright. Oh, I got two levels? Okay, so Raps gets... I mean... Oh, God. These are some good rolls, just not for you. I'll take the, the physical damage. We don't need to re-roll that. Resistance reduction. An additional... Okay. Additional armor reduction. I'm, go I'm going for it. Piercing through 20% of their armor seems so nice. Whenever the hero is hit, automatically ca cast spiky skin on the attacker with a base damage equal to 20% of the hero's max health. Spiky skin, 41 damage. Is that doing the math for me, I think? Or base damage, 33. There it is. Uh, but, 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 anywhere. Okay, interesting. That's a really cool move. Uh, for not right now. Damage increased by 25% of the current hero's mana. Not great right now. Every two enemies hit, the next skill gains vision. Doesn't require line of sight. Wow, that's super cool. When attacking a unit with full health, you get an extra 15% critical. Good. Enemies killed by defenses now give bonus XP to the hero. As long as the hero is not wounded, bonus 10% dodge to move points. Cool. Experience gain. Minus 60 health plus 15% critical. I'm going to give myself first blood for wraps. Uh, orbital, what are you going to go for? Give you... I mean, range damage up. What do we really need to worry about there? Stun chance. Eh. Experience gain is like, is good. Critical power up even more. I'm going to say sure. All right, you get a little perk point. What do you got? Unlocks the mark skill, allowing you to debuff you. Wait, allowing you to debuff a target's dodge. Range one to nine. Cost no energy. One target limit, uh, limit twice per turn. For every, wait, every 10% of your missing mana... Plus four percent critical. Cool, I like that. Defensive training. We saw that one first blood. Actually, could be really good too. When attacking with a damage type that differs from the previous one, you get plus fifteen percent damage. Damage type that differs. Uh, I, 
assume these are all... Yeah, they're all indeed ranged. I didn't know if some of the spell ones would actually be mana uh, or magic. Definitely feeling like Mark. Or Critical Runes. Or First Blood. You're gonna you're pretty accurate already. If we're missing 90% of our mana, <laughs> that's 36% extra credit. I mean, that's pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. I really like that, because I I it's no surprise, I'm sure to you. I like to use my mana. I like to use it a lot. Resistance up. We're going we're going tanky. Hit me with the dodge. Let's see, we got double. Uh, health regen, because that gives us armor as well as the health regen. Resistance reduction, healing received. Ah, I don't want to keep re-rolling because then we're just going to get less and less options. Every 20 current health after 120 plus... Wait, every 20 current health after 120. So it's not on max. Interesting. The healthier you are, the more damage you do. But it's current. It's not... It's not max. Damage is increased by... Yeah, flat amount of your current mana. Mark, first blood... Poison at the end of the hero's turn, apply 20 poison to all enemies within a range of three. I think I like I like that. I like that a lot. Um I do like the idea of the jump upgrade. Okay, septic shock. When applying poison to a unit that's already poisoned, I give him a chance to stun. That could be nice. This is maybe good to take later. Let's we'll, we'll take that. Poison tank. Poison tank, baby. Poison tank. All right, all right. We got ourselves some walls to put down here. Do we... Like, really need to? I don't know. I'm gonna... We're also gonna put down... I'm gonna put down the dang traps, and hopefully they actually, like, you know, step on them. That's a bad spot for that. I think we want it up one further. Oh, they can walk across this. That makes sense. Stun trap. Force them into it. Force them into it. All right, uh, we got some stuff at the shop, potentially. Steel hammer, mithril longbow, mithril, steel pauldron. Oh, my God. Uh, bonus health, minus one move points, plus armor up by 33%. Vicious, target one, give yourself 10% critical. Cost one energy. I don't know if I care about that right now. We need to make sure we put that on wraps. Do we have any boots? I don't have a shield. I actually, I think a shield is the most logical thing right now. Thank you. Mithril longbow. Get that for orbital. And then let's see if we can buy ourselves a structure of sorts. The mana well makes sense. In addition to pro probably would have made more sense to buy a house. I think that that's a thing that we needed to we need to do earlier, from what I remember, uh, building houses earlier. But alas, let's get our gear. You wear that. You get this in your secondary slot. I will take the shield. All right, seems good. 
I will stand here. Raps will be here and ready. And then Orbital will kind of be in the middle there, ready to bop either and also ready to jump over the fence if he needs to. I'm ready for that. Let's go. Probably the final way we do for this video here. If you guys want more of this, you got to let me know. Comment section down below and we shall see what we shall do. I think we can probably be a little bit closer. I mean, they're not going to... Yeah, I think we're fine. All right, go for it. The misting hour has arrived. Oh, they're so much further up than I thought. And they're not even... Ugh. You little devil. You annoying little beasts. You annoying little beasties. Okay. Can you hit here? You can. If you can get a kill, that'd be... Yeah. Fantastic, I was gonna say. I can't see where the other ones are, but I'm going to just hope that this is fine. You go ahead and do a mortar. Didn't think we could get that. And I'm not gonna. I'm not about to just spend mana to make that happen. All right. And we frown because we just missed... Oh my god, we got some fast boys. Stop it. That sucked. I didn't realize they were going to be so far up that way. And they were going to be so far down this way. I just built where the arrow was. Like a fool. Because I thought, guess what? They'll be where the arrow is. Oh, it's just telling me that first blood is going to proc. Nice. Those guys are they're gonna I mean they're gonna die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You get out of here. And then I think that we wanna send orbital up. Yeah. I think that's a great call. I mean, obviously, we can't get him there in time, but I think that that is a good call, generally. What's your range? Put you here. You're out of range. Those guys are just going to die by poison over time here. This is where things are going to be a little bit spicy. The dodge. going to hit me but it's going to be pretty weak and they I think will actually I don't know man I'm very curious to see how this goes oh the poison went nice okay yeah you get the hell in there. Cause some havoc, baby boy. Let's go. These are not guarantees, but I'm going for them. Okay. Do it. Okay. This should be a kill. Put ourselves behind the barrier. That's pretty boosted. You know what? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try out I'm gonna try out focusing on the poison aspect there. Okay. I have I think we go. I think we go for this. 
Does that count as... It better not count as damage taken, though. That's, I guess, my only fear. Can't see any more units in the fog. That does not mean they don't exist. I'll back it up. Yep, definitely doesn't mean they don't exist. Dodge. Holy, the arrows. Oh, boy. Come on, this poison better do work. I want to see the poison in action. Oh, at the end of the hero's turn. Okay, so you can't... Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. It's when the turn ends. Man, these had to all be rangers, huh? Interesting. Yeah, this didn't this part didn't go how I wanted. No sir. Yeah, basically no armor. Do we I think we sacrificed the 10 health to get the hell out? To be honest. going to make it up if we don't do something. I think we want to do another big bopper. It's a kill of three. Believe it or not, I prefer a kill of four. <laughs> okay. Alright. Womp! If we really, like, if we bunker ourselves in in a situation like here when they're surrounded by people, that could be really good. Okay, well, that's, that's effectively a kill. But we're out of one of the... I don't know, man. It's, it is not the play. If we attack here and we weaken you... And then we go super block... This is such a bad idea. But I really want to see how it works. These new perks, you know? That's going to poison so many units. But for how much? Okay, so it killed the ones that were nearby. Look at that! We didn't even take damage. Wait, poison tank I think might be busted. I think poison tank is probably busted. We're out of mana. That makes sense. I deserve that. Um, Could we theoretically get down to the point where we could help? No. So, what we're going to do is we're going to help right now. Over here. Okay. And then... Hall bottom over here. All of this, all this health trading for for what, man? My bomb never went off either. Screw that, man. Okay, I'm just gonna you're just gonna die because I'm gonna push you so much that way. All right, so what the hell do we do with this? We have a chance to stun everybody too. That's what's really really wild. It's 
I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, it sounds really fun. I don't know. This is this is not a good idea, but this is a funny idea to me. I'm going to just stop. Okay, did we get any stuns? I don't think so, but that poison did it did quite a bit. And again, we just we didn't take any damage, so there's no actual penalty. It feels like tanks, they might have made tanks more viable. They kind of weren't that viable from my past like experiences. Oh, you little devil. Should have definitely uh waited a moment there. Alright. Alright. I think we're good. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. I'm not gonna mess with any of that. Uh, you just hang. And then, honestly, you, you deserve it. Just kind of also hang. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to, sp I don't need to spend action points. What, you, you want me to attack enemies? Why would I do that? Look. Very cool. All right. Um, we want to kill you specifically and you specifically. So that Raps can go in there and get guaranteed kill, guaranteed kill. You start moving over to do play cleanup crew. Little frame. There's like a little frame drops here and there that didn't used to be in the game from what I recall. Maybe it's on this map or something. I don't know. Thumbs up. Next. Seven action points. I'm well aware. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Uh... It's not, we're not doing it anymore after this, so... Oh, you! Well, actually, he's dead. She's dead. Bye-bye. God, yeah, these new perks are so cool. Really, really good. They added a lot of, like, quality of life speed-up features that I really like. Okay, so it doesn't count... I don't think it counts as damage, if... I don't know if it counts as damage... If you self, if it's self-inflicted, which if that's true is great, I love that. Um, but alas, alas. I wonder if there's new stuff here too. I bet you there there must be, right? Hello. Welcome to the Orcalum. Uh, you something about the crawlers? Something I, but I don't want to tell thee. Hmm. Don't know if you are worthy of sharing the lady's little secret. Prove your devotion to my cause, and I shall see. Oh my god. We have 26 out of 86. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Where are the ones we have, like, unlocked? Do they go away once we have them unlocked? No, they have the... The check marks are the unlocked ones. That's right, that's right. New Havens will now have an extra mage at the circle. Guess again, ability for the seer building. Reroll an upcoming wave. Heroes are generated with more action points. Obviously, that's the one. Uh, but alas, yeah, very cool. It was fun to come back to this and check it out again. Uh, and I, I think that we really did, you know, we played on the new map. We showcased that very well, I would say, because we are, guess what? We are here. Uh, on top of the fact that I am blown away by... Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? Just whatever. I am blown away by the new perk system. It's so much better. Like... It was already good. Oh my god. This too? When an enemy is killed, you take physical damage, restore 4 health. Whenever a unit takes poison damage in a range of 5, restore 2 health. Poison tank, poison tank, poison tank. The fact that there's actually like these kind of weird builds and the I, I actually do really like that they don't... Oh my god. They don't get the same um, stuff all the time. You know, like, they don't even have the, necessarily have the guaranteed same categories. That opens up so many possibilities for uh, depth and customization in the future. 
when there already was quite a bit, but now there's like, it's not a solved thing where you're like, oh, I am I have a ranger. That means I should do this. You have a couple more options and you have some more uh, RNG in what you have offered to you. Like you might not get the same category. And even if you get the same category, you might not get the exact same perks you would always expect. So you have to decide, well, maybe I don't want to go with that. Maybe I do want to go with that. You know, plan out a build sort of moving forward. Uh, very, very cool. Love it a lot. Alas, alas, though, that is that, and that is going to do it here for today. Uh, if you want more Last Spell, let me know. Comment down below. I would not be opposed. It's a fun, very, very, very fun game. Um, it does, it's, it's sort of weird because the runs are so long, you can't really break them apart into episode, like, episodes well. I can't do a whole run in an episode. No way. Uh, it's just kind of strange in that regard. But alas, that's that. That's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Check out my channel, Roguelike, some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.